assignment is going to take forever. Well, what's the matter? Ah, oh, hey, my friend, it's English. My English teacher said I have to write five sentences using the word faithfulness. Dude, I don't even know what that means. And my mom said I can't get ice cream until I'm done with my homework. Well, this is your lucky day. Yeah? Why's that? Yep. Well, you see, faithfulness is one of the fruits of the Spirit. I can help you with your homework and teach everyone the next fruit of the Spirit at the same time. Well, cool beans. Let's rock and roll. Okay, everyone. Here is the way we'll do this. Every time I give the signal, let's say faithfulness. Okay, let's try it out. And we're going to have a friend come help us. So here's the signal. Faithfulness! Wow, that sounds great. Okay, hit me with the first sentence. All right. The dog showed faithfulness by sitting and waiting for the boy to get home from school. Oh, I got it. Hey, bud, but how did the dog show faithfulness? Well, by waiting for his owner, the boy, to get home. The dog could have been romping and playing or chewing on a bone, but instead he waited patiently for his boy to get home because he knew playing with him would be more fun than any of those things. Oh, cool. I, I think I'm getting a feel for this faithfulness and, and what it means. All right, next sentence. Now, remember, you got to Help me out when I give, when, when you see me give the signal. Because her faithfulness! Jenna stood by her friend, even when her friend was in trouble. Oh, that's a good one. How, how does faithfulness come into play here? Well, by sticking with her friend, even through the bad times, Jenna was a faithful friend. She con showed continued loyalty and support, no matter what situation her friend was in. Okay, I think I'm getting it. Let me do the next one. <clears throat> Bob showed his faithfulness by giving some of his weekly allowance to the church, but he used the rest of it to buy Skittles and Spider-Man comic books. Hey, how is that? Well, that's pretty good. Giving away money to the church when you could use it for stuff you want might look weird or even silly to some people, but it makes Jesus happy when we give to his work. It's one way to show your faithfulness, doing something that isn't easy to do, or that doesn't make sense to others. Okay, I am on a roll. Listen to this. I showed my amazing, totally cool faithfulness by going to church anyways when I was sleepy on Sunday morning because I stayed up late watching a cooking show marathon. <laughs> well, that's great. But is that last sentence really true? Yeah, I never missed the chance to see a dragon cake made in 30 minutes flat. Dragons totally rock, dude. I see. Well, that is a good example of faithfulness. Sometimes there are things we would rather be doing than serving God and going to church. 
But when we go anyway, it is pleasing to God, and it shows that we are faithful to Him. Okay, so one, two, three, four. All right, I only need one more sentence. Here goes. We can show our faithfulness by telling others about Jesus. Wow, that is a masterpiece. It's your best sentence yet. Thanks. You know what? Gold star. How about you tell us how that shows faithfulness? Well, in the Bible, in Romans chapter 1, verse 16, it says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Because it is the power of God to save everyone who believes. So to me, that says even when people make fun of you for being a Christian, you need to stand up for Jesus. He died for it, us. So that's the least we can do. Absolutely. Hey, guess what? I'm all done my homework. You know what that means it's time for? Ice cream! Yeah, buddy! Woohoo! Okay, bye friends! And remember to love your neighbors. And most importantly, to love God. From, from the, the little, little puppets that care. Bye everyone! Bye.